Hello YouTube, welcome or welcome back to Fancy Bloom. My name is Oksana and I'm thrilled that you joined me here. Today I will show you how to make this large and very simple flower from crepe paper. In my personal opinion, this flower is perfect for getting started with crepe paper, because making small flowers takes some skills. Making giant flowers, like for example giant peonies, requires a little bit of experience. And anyway, first you should fill the crepe paper in your hands, pull it and stretch it, get used to it, and then move on to something more advanced. So I think that this very simple medium-sized flower is perfect if you are just starting out and want to get some initial experience of working with crepe paper. Another important thing that I would like to mention at the very beginning is that it's crucial what kind of crepe paper you will use. Because, guys, you will not be able to make this flower out of lightweight, thin paper. You need good quality, heavy crepe paper for these large petals to be able to hold their shape. And if you don't know yet about the types of crepe paper, how to choose the right one for your project and where to buy it with all the links, I have a very detailed crepe paper guide, which I recently updated, that you can easily download from my website. It's absolutely free. I also have a video, it was actually the first video on this channel, about how to make petals from crepe paper and in general how to work with it. It was based on the example of peony petals, but the stretching techniques that I show there are universal for any petals and I give the important basics of working with crepe paper there and what are the common mistakes you can make. So be sure to check it out if you haven't seen it yet. Okay, for this flower I have picked Italian paper in gorgeous light blue color for the petals and vanilla and light yellow for the center. For reference, the numbers of these papers are 559, 17A1 and 577. My blue paper weighs 140 grams, but if you will have 180, it will be even better. Okay, let's prepare the base first. You can use thick cardstock or even cardboard. The main idea here is that this base should be thick and not flimsy. If you will use thin and flimsy paper for the base, the finished flower simply will not hold its shape and will sort of fall apart. So make sure that you use something solid. For making a circle, I found a candle lid that I had at home and it's about the diameter I need. So it should be about 4 inches or 10 centimeters in diameter. I like to glue the base to the paper first and then cut it along the contour. Now let's cut and prepare all the petals. You don't need any templates here unlike for cardstock flowers because petals have very simple shapes and we can easily cut them out just by eye. Okay, for convenience I recommend first cutting the paper roll in half. Then I measure 7 inches in height and cut a strip along the entire length of the roll. And then I will cut this strip into 3 and a quarter inches wide blanks. So total you should get 15 blanks from this strip. Okay, next I measure and cut a strip that is already six and a half inches high and I need to cut 10 pieces of the same width, three and a quarter inches. Perfect, now when I have prepared all the blanks, let's cut out the petals, it's very simple. So I fold the blank in half and step from the lower edge, maybe about half an inch, I cut to the middle point. And then I just round the top part like this. And this is the petal shape you should get. I will show you one more time. Look, step just a little bit and cut till the middle. And then round the petal at the top part. Easy. Okay, once I have cut out all the petals, let's shape them. First, I want to gently twist the top edge of the petal. 
I do this to make the petal look just a little bit more natural. The more you scrunch and twist it, the more curly the petal will be. So it depends on how you like it better. You can leave it flat and not touch it at all, or you can twist it up a lot so it will be very curly. Then I take two petals at once, like this, and stretch them. Also, please note that crepe paper has a front and back side. The front side is always more saturated in color, so make sure that you take the petals with the front side facing you. Look, I stretch only the middle part of the petal. I don't touch the top and bottom parts. Also, make sure that you don't overstretch the paper. You need to stretch smoothly and evenly. So, like this, I stretch all the petals. Perfect, I'm ready to assemble the flower. Each roll will consist of five petals. So I flip my base and start by gluing the first row of petals from the back side. Try to evenly distribute all five petals so they have approximately the same distance between them. After the first row, I turn the flower over and glue the second row, placing the petals between the petals of the first row. Ok, the third row of petals I glue in the same way, but here I already step a little to the center. Starting from the fourth row, I would like to slightly lift the petals, so I gather the paper in the middle to create some rigidity. Then I bend the bottom edge and only then I glue it, moving even more towards the center. And the same way I make and glue the last five petals. Ok, now we need to make a center, and it will consist of two parts, pistil and stamens. And let's start with the pistil. To make it, we need three stripes of paper, four inches long and a little bit less than an inch wide. Look, I take the strip and twist it very tightly right in the middle. Then I stretch the paper on both sides, forming something like this. Here the main trick is that you need to make this twist very, very tight, so that it stays in place. Then I put a little glue on the lower part and fix it. I show you one more time. I'm holding the paper like this, twist it really tightly in the middle, stretching from both sides and then fix it with a dot of glue. Alright, when I make three pieces like this, I glue them together, forming the pistil. Great, now let's get to the stamens. We need to cut a strip 12 inches wide and 3 inches high. And to speed up the process, I fold my strip four times and start cutting it into small stripes like this, leaving about half an inch uncut. Now I need to twist all the stripes, just to give it some texture. And you can also curl the stamens. For me, it's always convenient to do it by using the edge of my desk. Before gluing, you can also a little bit stretch the entire strip and now I start to glue the stamens to the pistol. Don't rush and make sure that the edge of the stamen strip is always leveled with the edge of the pistol. Right 
All right, the last step is to glue the center to the flower very well. And this is the final result. I hope you will try to make this flower and you enjoyed this lesson. If so, remember that your like and subscription is very important here. Also, don't forget to share your works with me by tagging Fancy Bloom on Instagram and let me know what next videos you would be more interested in. Flowers made from cardstock or crab paper flowers. I'll be waiting for your comments. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon.